Cheers. We're here at Bishop's Castle again. Wonderful. Outside Bank House waiting for a, a talk by a photographer. A little while ago I bought Claire the, uh, the book by this fellow called Dip. If you want to have a look at it, please do. It's all about whale swimming in Shropshire. And um, later on we'll be, do, we'll be doing a bit of wild swimming, perhaps at uh, Shell, Shell Pool, but we're looking forward to it. And it's going to be 7.30, and as you can see, on my watch, it's time for the talk. Well, talk to you later. Talk is, listen everybody, the talk's only two hours long and you can't go for a week so you'll be alright. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Yeah, we're just, we're just kicking off. We're going to analyse this picture for 45 minutes before we do anything. We got, we got jewels in Shropshire. We, got, we can beat the Lake District, we can beat the Highlands of Scotland. Or maybe not beat them, but we can be equal to them. And some species are doing well, some species are really, really, really not doing well. So the idea is about joined up thinking about being together, not building a wall between them, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they wanted a photographer on board and they just basically gave me a very simple brief. They said, um, Andy, photograph everything. And then I started to realise that this place I'd lived, because you know, we live in Libri North, just up there, um, is magical. Uh, and it's magical in the winter. There's our far reekin and, and, the, and the tree turning to a bit of a dinosaur. And I started to fall in love with the landscape, uh, and, and I had a reason to be up there. And there is something about a, an art form when somebody is actually paying you to do it, it changes the way you view yourself and view it. And you sort of take yourself a bit more seriously, which shouldn't be how it is, but it is how it is. Um, that was used by the Daily Express, spot the grouse, it's hilarious. And spot the grouse, well I think I can spot the grouse, but you know, Daily Express readers are giving me a great one. Spot the grouse. Yeah. Sorry he doesn't look like a migrant, forgive me. But there we go. On the long mint, come April, May, the wheat ears come in, um, and you can again drive along, invisible in your car, and literally just stick your lens out the window. And uh, he's just looking, he doesn't know what you are. He's going, I don't understand, it's a car, but I'm hearing clink, 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 clink. And these particular dippers under bridges, literally under the bridge, this is the parent coming out, uh, which I went in with wide angle and a bit of flash. Um, and you can just see that moment, and here's the little fledgling. Uh, so it was absolutely beautiful. Hi, we're at Shelf Pool. I'm your host, Jacob Scott. Today I got inside the mind of a Trump voter by being myself a Trump voter. Uncle George Trump voter. No, he's not. He's not an American well, citizen. I sat in the shallows of a uh, stagnant pool of <laughs> water Budweiser on my face. <laughs> Wait! <I'm... laughs> you always do that. Oh. Mm.